We know by now that President Biden's July 4th goal of getting 70% of Americans vaccinated against COVID has fallen short. Yeah, the goal there was to achieve herd immunity sooner rather than later. But is there a way that that could happen besides just the vaccine rates? WBRE 28, WYRU 22, Eyewitness News, Health Beat reporter Mark Hiller, live in Plains Township to explain. Mark? Good evening, Nick and Candace. We know herd immunity happens when much of the population becomes immune to a virus because people have been vaccinated or infected. But as I found out from a Geisinger infectious disease specialist, it's not so simple when it comes to COVID-19. The number of COVID-19 cases to date is staggering. More than 1.2 million statewide and 33.7 million nationwide. Those who did recover began experiencing something valuable in their immune system. The body uh, develops some degree of immunity. Uh, the uh, white blood cells, uh, which uh, can remember exposure to infection, can kick in. Antibody levels uh, will kick up. Dr. Stan Martin says that provides the patient a degree of immunity which can last for several months. That's highly variable though, right? Everybody's immune system's a little bit different. But is it enough combined with the number of people vaccinated to achieve herd immunity? In some parts of the country, possibly, uh, and others, maybe not, um, and that's a concern. He blames some of the difficulty on the fact we as a population tend to not stay in one place. We have movement of people from one part of the country to another kind of constantly in flux. Another issue is mutations of the original strain of COVID-19, which may make those who were originally infected but recovered still vulnerable. As these variants arise, um, it's not a guarantee that your immunity to one strain of COVID is necessarily going to translate to another strain. Dr. Martin urges COVID patients who've recovered to get vaccinated to prevent reinfection and help get our community and country closer to herd immunity. And that is the key to getting this pandemic under control. That is the key to having a normal life, which we all want again. And to date, nearly five and a half million Pennsylvanians have been fully vaccinated against COVID-19. That number stands at 158 million nationally. With the Health Beat live in Plains Township, Mark Hiller, 2822 Eyewitness News.